into the kitchen you may expect to come out with something delicious mm -hmm. on the other end but uh, sometimes that doesn't quite happen so you know someone who relates to those experiences <laughs> is our next guest her name is Kate Drummond she is the star of a jock's guide which is a really 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 fun oh show on a oh, yeah, 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 filming all of this yeah so we're on a jock's guide you're the host welcome I to am. the show thank you it's nice well, to be back thank you so much for coming back now um before we get into the delectable canadian favorite that we're going to be creating today <laughs> so we wanted to definitely tell people out there all about your show so Great. what's the whole idea uh, the whole idea of the show is that uh, it's what cooking actually looks like. Right. Um, so I did not grow up, you know, other than my Betty Crocker oven. Mm -hmm. um, cooking was just nothing that I was, wasn't something that I was really good at or learned a lot about. But as I've aged, <laughs> <clears throat> aged I, uh, I've decided that I actually really enjoy it. And um, so, but cooking doesn't. To me, when it happens in my kitchen, it doesn't look like the other cooking shows out right. there, which is, you know, everything is perfectly placed. Um, it looks like a normal kitchen. I like so that. I, I, people can relate to my show, which <laughs> exactly. is why why my, my viewers love it, because they, um, they're like, that happened to me. <laughs> oh, now I don't feel so bad. You know? Kate is keeping it real. That's keeping right. it real. Well, you're going to make your version of homemade beaver tail. Right. Uh, are you going to put us to work here? I see I you am. have some things in front of us here. Okay. okay, so we can't make the dough because, like, on during the, the right. show because it would take too long. But when you, on the site, there's actually a recipe. Okay. Right. If you follow it, it's it's foolproof. Okay. Um, and then you end up with something that looks like this, which is like elastic dough. Looks mm. like pizza dough. It kind of does smell. Oh, it smells a little bit sour? Yeasty. It yeasty? smells yeasty yeah. because the yeast smells bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not pretty. <laughs> It smells Be real bad. So be forewarned, if you make this and it smells a little yeasty, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so here's what you do. Yeah. After you've made your, your dough, you just let it sit for about 40 minutes. All right. And all right. then you it kind of puffs up. And then you just you just kind of stab it with a fork okay. and get all the air out. Get your so frustrations out on your Yes. Yeah. So if you dough. have anger issues, yeah. making beaver tails is great. Do you so, have anger issues? Okay. <laughs> so grab okay. a little piece right. of dough. You just, you just met her, Derek. Well, I know, but... She brought it up. I'm no, just, okay. I don't. Okay, um, okay so right. grab some dough. Okay. And so what you're going to do is you're going to gently, okay. gently, you know, pull it. And so you don't need to grab a very big piece. No. Just, oh, okay. Just okay. like, you're kind of like, and you could kind of jiggle it. and Jiggle and have fun with it. You know, have okay. a little fun. All right. Okay. Making a beaver tail. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then what you do is you just... Lay it in your oil. Okay, sounds so, simple enough. I guess we should be you careful. Should, yeah, when we're laying it in. You want to just flatten it, and you know, really, what two beaver tails are the same, right? So it's it doesn't true. really matter. Doesn't matter. So that you can lie it. Okay. They're like snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> so see how it's how it's kind of bubbling. You can put yours in that one or this one. It doesn't matter. Careful, Lois. Safety right? first. Yeah. Safety first. So I will I'm say nervous. that <laughs> when you put out an oil fire, okay. you, how do you it, know this, Kate? I had to Google it. <laughs> oh, I thought we might have had a situation of your own. I have many situations <laughs> of my own. Thankfully, no homes have been burned down because Good. of my cooking. Okay. So uh, the, it doesn't take long, and you'll notice that 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 burner is a little temperamental. Yes. This one though. Wow, yours immediately brown. Yeah. yeah so Ooh, you can see that right away. It. it um, um, it browns right away. This is nice. This is a nice, quick thing to do. I it's like so it. quick, and you know what's great too is that it's kid friendly. Yeah. Um, so you get your kids in there kneading the dough and right. and you know getting their issues out mm -hmm. um, and your issues out if you had to take the day off work to be with your kitties because uh -huh. of the strike. Oh. Yeah. Um, then. Right. Okay, so here you can oh, test. So you can have, just have a see if it's looking Mine's a little looking bit more. Good. Oh, maybe we should flip yeah. it. Sure, the light. There you go. That's nice and golden. Yeah. Right, and so um, so you film your entire series off of your laptop, which is what yeah. we're doing yeah, right hi. now. Hi, guys. Hi, Kate. Oh, except the sound doesn't work because oh. when I made chocolate bowls, my chocolate bowls exploded, and oh. chocolate went right into my microphone. Oh, my I goodness. See. So we just sort of sound like... Oh, okay, oh, no right. problem. Now, right <laughs> let's, let's tell everybody at home that's not what it sounds like on your website. <laughs> no, it sounds really There's good. There's full audio on the website. I have a microphone now. Yeah. But um, the great thing about the show, and I have to, I have to say, um, it's a totally nonprofit, 
for charity show. Yes. Um, so when I dis when I discovered that I was starting to get some traffic to the site. Mm -hmm. Um, being a former teacher, um, being involved with kids' charities is really important to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I found a charity that particularly spoke to me, which was combining sports and kids. And Kids Sport Ontario is one of the few chapters that's not government funded. Right. Um, and so what they do is they help fund um, registration fees and equipment fees for kids that can't play those organized sports that they would like. Awesome. So now more than ever, it's, it's yeah. important that we're really, you know, getting our kids involved in no things. Kidding. And, um, oh, I think mine might be burning. I feel like I always burn so, something on the show. Right. So once it's all nice and golden could brown. Could you take that dough, okay. oops, oh. could you take the dough off there? Oh, certainly. Because so you're you going you to dry it off. stick it on there. Okay. Drain off the oil. I'm and gonna, you're going to put on your favorite topping, right? And then what you do is you turn off your thing. Make yeah. sure you turn it off. Right. The key ingredients okay. for beaver tails that you need, you need the yeast and you need the cinnamon and sugar. Okay. Everything else you kind of need, but it's these are the most you important ones. You can mix ones. it up. So you throw like tons in there, and if you want, you could just take Put it, it in there. It in. Yeah, we'll sure. have you lather it up just, there. Just like there rub go. it all around. Kate, like... we've run out of time. Okay. I want to mention that your your uh, website is a jocksguide.com, right? Yes. All the web, all, all the episodes are available there. All the recipes too. She's got some great recipes. Check them out there. And Lois is going to taste test this as we throw to our music today. <laughs> we have the Korea band on the show today. They're playing a whole bunch of shows. I just want to highlight one of them, the Skull Cap Promotion Showcase at Babylon Nightclub. Uh, they're going to be joined by some great other local artists. That is happening January the 16th. Take it away, guys. Oh, good. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See,